What's going on YouTube? Chris Lex back with another video. It's your boy Chris. And you're Lex. And he's back with another video. Um, so today we're gonna be doing something like that. I guess a little different than what we normally do. Um, we're gonna be kind of talking about some tips on like growing your YouTube channel, um, things you guys can do um, to reach, I guess, over that thousand subscriber mark that we just hit. Yeah. Uh, not too long ago. Cause I mean, that's everyone's like beginning goal, I feel like, because that's the point where you guys, um, was halfway to get monetized because now they have it where it's a like, thousand subscribers and they have like so many watch hours. Yeah, it's like it's both. It's not one or the other. No yeah. More. Um. So now, um, we'll give you guys some like tips and stuff that we kind of used and we kind of found out um along our way. That we kind of wish people would have told us, but like so we're telling y'all. Oh, yeah. Um. So we're gonna just jump right into it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if there's something we missed that you guys think is. That you guys Important. think helped you guys out, or vice versa. Um, so we got some, some stuff we just wrote out on our phone, so we're gonna just jump straight into it, honestly. And the first one, um, I can. So, first one's like consistency is key, and I know like everyone says that, but like it's it's true, yeah. And we can, like, from our experience, I can say, like, if you go back on our videos and you see, like, what we have, like, two years, one year, and then it's like. Well, it would just say like 10 months, seven months, mm -hmm. four months. And like you, there's no really no way to grow, right? Because I was like, think of it like a TV show. Um, if you're like, there's a new TV show that's out and you're like, you're hooked on it. And the episodes you're are waiting. supposed to drop every like, every Friday, right? And then they just skip like four episodes and you're just like, well, yeah, damn. Well, damn. Um, just stay consistent. If you have to stick to like, I wouldn't even really say a schedule, right? Um, you don't have to have a schedule, I feel like, because we're not on a schedule. We just kind of record as we feel necessary, but we wanted, we know that we need to record multiple, multiple videos a week. Yes. <laughs> Our number two is going to be don't let likes or views bring you down or discourage you from continuing to make videos. Um, because everyone started off at the bottom, right? No one started off with their first video just getting tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of views like everyone starts at the bottom um it's the consistency that like keeps bringing people back to your channel i feel like and so i don't think because you made a video and it didn't get a thousand likes or a thousand views that like you're not doing something yeah because you are it's still reaching some people and then the next video is just gonna make it reach more people that is like let's say you get like four views on this video right and i really like enjoyed your content now the next video you post you have four people I gotta come back to your video plus okay boom now this video just reached another two people so now you got six views and it's just gonna keep going and going some videos might go down but that's where you can't let it discourage you um i'm gonna obviously continue because there, the there's always gonna be a video that will make the rest do better yeah there's gonna be like you'll be let's say like you're posting 50 videos down the line and then you have like a banger video that just goes viral they're like oh like he's pretty cool and or, well, they're pretty cool she's pretty cool whatever i'm sorry um let me go see like what else they posted then now they're going to check back like all 50 of your other videos and now those numbers are going up so just don't let it discourage you yeah so number three is going to be be yourself and be genuine no one's going to watch you if they can tell like you're being fake yeah if you're like faking energy or like the vibe just be yourself just be yourself and don't care what other people think yeah just don't try and put on an act to impress other people exactly because at the end of the day i said the best way to like Cause obviously when you first hop on it in front of a camera, I feel like you're gonna be kind of nervous. Like it's kind of different. Just put the camera, start recording, and just talk like until you get comfortable. I feel just like think of it like everybody started off like that. Yeah. And like everybody's nervous at one point, so it's like it's okay to be nervous and it's okay to not know what to say. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it's like like us right now. It's really just us and a camera. Like no one else. Yeah, it's just us. So just get comfortable and be yourself and don't try to like, don't try to be someone else that you see on YouTube, if that makes sense. Like, just cause this person's acting this way, don't mean you have to act that way just to be like that, you know? Be you. Be you. Number four, we'll say quality over quantity. I think we could attest to that one big time cause when we first started posting, even like kinda not too long ago, to be honest, um, we were just like video, 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 video. Not really like taking time to edit or like really think a video out to see how it how it can be good or how we can make it even better. We were just trying to like, all right, boom, 
this our idea, we're gonna record it, and then boom. We kind of did it more quantity over quality. Yeah. We but like, that's not how it should be, and we learned that. Like, if you take the time to make your video interesting, that's what's worth it, rather than having five videos. Exactly. Like, that one video will make up for Because, it. let's say you do have, like, if you're just posting, let's say you post five videos in a day, but like, that one video people are seeing, if it's not like, good, what that's not gonna make them want to click on the other videos you posted that day. It's just they're gonna just move on to the next person, you know? Yeah. Uh, number five. Five. Um, you don't need a camera and like bright lights and all that to start a channel. You yeah. can easily start with your phone. We did. Yeah, we started on our phone. Um, then once we knew this is kind of what we wanted to do, we went ahead and bought uh, like a little. Uh, like a Canon camera. I mean, it wasn't expensive. I think it was like 200 bucks. Yeah. Um, it was like 200 bucks, and then just slowly upgrade. Like we, didn't, like she said, we didn't have everything that we're using now to record um, mm -hmm. when we first started. We literally started on our cell phone. Um, Even editing, like we did it on our phone. Like you don't need a laptop or a MacBook or anything like expensive to edit. Like you could literally do it on your phone. Yeah, you have an iPhone. Um, they have iMovie to edit. Um, the camera is good, and then just natural lighting from the sun in your house or outside whatever your videos are going to be doing yeah it's perfectly fine and good enough to start making videos so another one try to make your titles um something that people are like searching for or like that are trending if that makes sense right so just take time and think out what like so i wouldn't say think out what your title is going to be before you are making your video but what we do is like we sit down after the video is done. And we think like, okay, what can the title be for this video yeah. that we know people are gonna wanna watch? Like clickbait it, but like, not OD, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like make it just, make it something interesting like that if you were to see it, you'd be like, okay, boom, I'm gonna click that video. Like, You that have makes to sense. have that mindset. You have to have that, I'll watch this video. Cause if you don't think you'd watch the video, why would anybody else? Exactly. Kinda to piggyback off that one is like, to stay on the trends. Yeah. Like if you see these trending videos and you know you can do it, do it. Exactly, because let's say like you have, I mean I feel like at the end of the day everyone takes each other's ideas, right? Let's say one person gets big off of, let's say for example when they were doing like the whole drive through trend, mm -hmm. like letting the person in front of you order, uh, like getting the same thing as the person in front of you, right? One person did it, someone else saw it, they did it, the next person did it and like that. It became um, a trend. It became a trend, just hop on it if you catch it in time. I'd say hop on it um, because that's what people are like watching and that's what they're into at that time. So might as well hop on it. Yeah, most, I mean, that's all you can do. Yeah. Um, thumbnails and titles are first impression. So yeah, like I said, make your title something that you would click on yourself, right? And, and the thumbnails have to be like eye-catching. Yeah, they have because to be. Because you're gonna see that, you're, that's the person you're gonna see. Honestly, you see the thumbnail before the title. Yeah, Yeah. because um, that's what catches your eye. Yeah, because you gotta make it like, don't overdo your thumbnail, but don't just have like a blank thumbnail, if that makes sense. Just don't have like a clip of, um... Even if you just add brain. little things, it would still make it eye-catching because you, they could tell that you took the time to do that thumbnail rather than just let it be random. Yeah, then let like YouTube just put the thumbnail for you. You took the time, like extra time to make the thumbnail attractive for people to want to click on. So a big one is learning about SEO. That's um, one thing we did not know about yeah, for SEO a while. Is stands for search engine optimization, I want to say. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain. So SEO has to do with the algorithm, but it's kind of like how your title is matching up with your tags. Um, and like the higher the score you have, the more YouTube's gonna push the video out on like pay on like people's so like you know how like after you watch a YouTube video it has like all the videos it's like a higher chance for it to go in there so if you have a lower score it's less likely for it to get there but if you have a higher score it's more likely so just study to reach a bigger audience right? exactly um, so study SEO because I don't want to give you guys the wrong not like wrong information on it but SEO is a big thing. Um, when you're like starting it's out. It's really hard to explain. Yeah, it really is. Um, like once you try to do it, it's not hard, but explaining it, it's kind of like, I don't want to mislead you guys. So just learn about SEO. And like I, we, we use, like I said, it's TubeBuddy, well, website and an app, um, but you have to pay for it. And it kind of helps you with like tags and 
making your video more reachable and stuff like that. Um, but if you're like just starting out, uh, if you're just starting out, don't immediately buy TubeBuddy. Just kind of see how if you like to YouTube and it's something that you want to do before you start investing in things. Um, and it kind of goes with the same with like equipment wise. Like, yeah. Don't just flat out buy a camera to start, like use your phone because then it's like, if it's not for you, then you don't like waste necessarily all that money on like the all camera that should sit in that, like, yeah. Yeah. Last but not least is like working on your craft, like working on like actually take the time and effort to do your thumbnails and like think about your titles and learn how to edit yeah learn like i said learn seo and how the algorithm works um try different apps like if you don't like one app don't think like ding i don't like this app like i this is just isn't for me like no like keep trying try different yeah, there's apps there's a whole because... bunch of different apps there's one specifically for mac windows like there's there's so much out there it's a lot that goes into it but the hardest part is going to be like starting from ground up once you kind of get like a decent following is where um and like you know you're gonna have a good amount of people come into your videos every time you post um you can like kind of slowly pull back from things but just just keep going at the end of the day don't stop um if this is something you really want to do um like the biggest one or one of the biggest ones is don't let the likes and views discourage you just keep going because yeah. you never if know you let that discourage you then you have to think of how many people wouldn't be as successful as they are now yeah and it, at the end of the day it only takes one video to get to blow up yeah you have and let's say you do like a funny prank, right? And you, you bang, you go to sleep, wake up, a million views. Now you just gain like, let's just say, 30,000 subscribers, who knows? Like, it literally just takes one video. So yeah. you never know what that next video is going to be if you just stop. Just keep going, keep grinding. Um, and if you ever have like questions, like you can DM us. Like yeah. we're not the type of people to be like, we're not telling nobody what we do. Yeah, go ahead and DM us on Instagram. We'll Comment them down below. We'll respond to you guys' comments. Um, we're here to help because at the end of the day, like, I don't, if I had a question about something, I would want someone to answer for me that knows about it, right? So why wouldn't I help the next person that's trying to learn? Because at the end of the day, it's like so much room on YouTube for everybody. There's no reason to be like greedy or anything or withhold information. It's just, it's no point. And if you guys like want us to do a part two with like more information or more in depth of like your guys's questions, like we will. Yeah, if you guys have questions and you want us to do like a part two answering those questions or whatever, let us know down below. Um, do you have anything else? I don't think so. I think that's it. So that'll be it for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the little post notification bell. Kristen likes to be out. Catch y'all in the next one.